So this right here, such a beautiful, beautiful silver Aztec calendar, five ounce round, that not only I've been wanting for a really long time, but I got it for about half the price. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. Today I'm going to be unboxing, reviewing, and talking about my brand new 5 ounce Aztec calendar silver round and how I got it for just about 50% off. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today, I'm gonna to be opening up this package that I received in the mail. I actually got this yesterday, and as you can see, I already took a peek inside just to make sure I knew exactly what this was. I have plenty of stuff coming in the mail, including quite a bit of silver. So I wanna talk about this today. I'm gonna to open this up, or reopen it, I should say. This is something that a lot of people told me about, a lot of people asked me about, a lot of people already got theirs, and this is something that's been recommended for probably about a year. I've wanted this for a while now. I just never ended up getting one until yesterday. Now, I got this from SD Bullion. Those of you who are familiar with this channel know that I haven't really shopped with SD Bullion very much, and this year alone, I've only ordered from them twice. This time, and also a couple of months ago when the new Queen's Beast was officially launched. Now, just a fun fact about SD Bullion, if you order from them, it says that it came from SD Bearing Supply. I guess to throw people off. If somebody saw SD Bullion, they'd probably assume that there's quite a bit of valuable precious metals inside. So, here we go. I've been excited about this for a while. Check this out. Look at that beauty. Look at this thing. Hands down, probably the most detailed piece of silver that not only do I own, but probably have ever even seen. And this is also my very first five ounce circular piece of silver. I have five ounce bars, I have 10 ounce bars, but when it comes to rounds and coins, I only have one troy ounce and two troy ounce pieces. So here, let me do a little, quick little size comparison, and then I'll tell you about this round. Obviously, it's five times bigger. It doesn't appear to be five times bigger, but if I show you the side, you can see the difference in how thick these two pieces are. So the interesting thing about this, before I even get into the details of this particular piece of silver, I want to talk about my experience with SD Bullion. Unfortunately, it's not the greatest. I wish I had a much better experience, but my first time this year placing an order when I got the Queen's Beast, if you saw the unboxing video, the plastic flip that it came in was actually broken. And when I opened up the packaging, the coin was actually just fumbling around inside the entire time it was being shipped. And unfortunately, there were some micro scratches on the face of the coin, which is unfortunate because it's a collectible Queen's Beast coin, the final piece of the puzzle. Gave him the benefit of the doubt. All right, it's no big deal. One unfortunate situation. It is what it is. But this time, the same thing happened. And I don't know if you can see, but there's actually scratches all around the border. You see, you can see it over here. Now, I don't know if that's due to the packaging, but it's the second time this has happened with SD Bullion. So, 
I think I might be tapping out with them and sticking to Atmex and JM Bullion and Provident Metals and all the other guys. Anyway, it is what it is. But I want to talk about this particular piece and I want to share some of the information with you guys because it's actually pretty interesting. I'm going to show you this side first, this side that I've been showing, and then I'll flip it over and talk about the details on the other side. See, I took it out of the plastic flip, give you guys a slightly better look, and you can actually see the scratches around the, the border of it, but it is what it is. I'm stacking for weight at the end of the day, and I got it for practically half off, so I don't really have too much to complain about. Let me put this right here and then zoom in. And then I'm going to read what their website shares with us about this particular piece of silver. So this right here is the Aztec Calendar Stone. And according to the SD Bullion website in the description, it says that the notorious stone features the face of Tonatiu, which is, I believe, how you pronounce it, who is described as the Aztec Sun God. The face is surrounded by small images that depict Aztec history and mythology. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, give you guys the best possible look. Like I said, this is hands down the most detailed piece of silver that I own. And it's arguably, potentially, the most detailed piece of silver that I've ever seen before. Let me move the lights. I don't know if that's... There we go. That's why I have the black background for today's video. So if we were to flip this over, oh, by the way, before I do that, I just wanna say that for some strange reason, this design really reminds me of the third Pokemon movie where Entei was introduced. I don't know why, it just reminds me of that. But anyway, let me flip this over. And on this side, this is what I believed to be an Aztec warrior, but according to the SD Bullion website, that's actually not the case. This right here features the image of the last ever Aztec emperor, Cuauhtemoc. Again, I think that's how it's pronounced. Doing my best over here. Cuauhtemoc was emperor over the Aztecs from 1520 to 1521. He was emperor for only those years because he was executed by the Spanish during their conquest. His portrait is surrounded by an Aztec border and obviously, it's a five troy ounce piece of silver. It is three nines fine. So let me give you a slightly better look at this. Beautiful, beautiful piece of silver. This feels really good to hold on to, by the way. And right below the portrait, you can see Quatamac. I believe that's how it's pronounced. This right here is an insane piece of silver. I've never had anything like this before. You can also get them in one troy ounce increments, and there's also a 10 troy ounce silver Aztec calendar bar. If there was a round of the 10 ounce denomination, that's what I would have picked up. But the reason I went with a five ounce rather than a one ounce is because, they look exactly the same by the way, just a different size. But the reason I went with the five ounce is because number one, go big or go home. But also two, I figured the bigger the piece, the more detail you'd actually be able to see. And again, let me just zoom in and show you guys, this is, it's mind-blowing how beautiful this is. Words can't even express how gorgeous this design is. I mean, just look at the detail. Maybe it's just me, but I think this thing is unbelievable. 
and it's quite a thick piece as well, especially if you were to compare it to a silver eagle. You can see it's probably about two, two and a half times as thick. It obviously weighs five times more. And another quick little size comparison. Unbelievable. As many of you know, this is my pocket silver. If any of you are major cheese balls, you're more than welcome to get a t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, or a coffee mug. <laughs> but this right here will not be kept in my pocket. This will absolutely be on display for probably a bunch of my upcoming videos and live streams. By the way, speaking of live streams, I will be going live tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the VIP Club. Link in the description. And it's not just live streams, by the way. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale. And you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Again, the link will be in the description. But back to this beautiful piece of silver. Right now, the spot price is about $24 and change. And this is a five troy ounce piece. It was listed for, I believe, $140 something, $145, let's just say, give or take, somewhere around there. I was actually able to get this 50% off because my security deposit was actually issued back to me. And rather than it just being given to me straight up, it was put on my credit card as a statement credit, which means I had a little bit of cash that I could spend by using the credit card without having to pay it back, if you guys know how that works. So I figured, I said, okay, I think that means it's time for me to get some silver. So due to the fact that I only had to pay for maybe, I don't know, 60 or 70 bucks out of the 140, I just used the credit card. I could have used a check and gotten that 2% discount or whatever it is, but I chose to use my credit card because I had statement credit on the credit card, which instead of saving me 2%, it saved me pretty close to 5%. So this right here, such a beautiful, beautiful silver Aztec calendar, five ounce round, that not only I've been wanting for a really long time, but I got it for about half the price, which I thought was pretty cool. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on the Aztec calendar round? I actually saw Another video, I saw a bunch of videos actually, but there was one in particular that actually talked about how theirs arrived a little scratched up along the edges as well. They didn't specify where they got their round from, but it wouldn't be surprising if they got it from the same place I got mine from. But do you have a five ounce Aztec calendar silver round. Have you had one for quite a while now? Is it a piece of silver that you don't have yet? Something that you plan on getting in the future? This is something that I've been wanting for a really long time and I'm really, really happy I was finally able to get one. I personally don't care all that much about the scratches. It's not that big of a deal to me. I just wanted to point it out because it was the second time that occurred from this particular online precious metal dealer. And I don't want to say anything bad about them. They have arguably the greatest prices, but it's one of those instances where you almost have to say to yourself, 
Sometimes good ain't cheap and cheap ain't good. Maybe the lower prices mean not the greatest shipping. I wish that if you were to pick up collectible pieces or slightly higher premium coins, rounds, or bars that it would just automatically be put in an airtight capsule before packaging it and shipping it to you. Obviously, if we're talking about Silver Eagles, Maples, Philharmonics, and simple common coins and generic rounds and whatnot, obviously those are not all that much to worry about, even if they're BU, but something like this or something like my Queen's Beast, I really wish that since you're paying a little bit higher of a premium for something that's a little bit more special or collectible or whatever the case may be, I wish these online sites would just suck it up and take the dollar out of their pocket to put it in an airtight capsule and ship it out to you. They only cost a dollar or two. And the reason they cost as much as they do is because the seller would obviously want to profit a little bit off of the capsule as well. I wish if you were paying a higher premium and giving these sites your business and sometimes hundreds or thousands of dollars that they would just deduct a dollar and put it in an airtight, but it is what it is. I'm just making a suggestion if any of these sites are listening. Something to think about. But anyway, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on this particular beautiful piece of precious metal. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. Don't forget, I'll be going live tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products t shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie sticker, and coffee mug, and the limited edition DYBSS Christmas design, which is actually helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Only available until Christmas. Get one while you can. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on the beautiful Aztec calendar silver round. Do you have one yet? Do you plan on getting one? Do you think that the five ounce is a good choice because you're able to really appreciate just how detailed it is and the art, the beauty, the designs, the history and mythology that this depicts. I mean, it's just such a beautiful piece of silver. It's something that I can't really get over. It's something that I've been wanting for a very long time now, and I'm grateful, thankful, and appreciative that I was finally able to pick one up. This right here is going to be on display all of the time. This is something that I've been wanting for such a long time. And now that I finally have one, I, I can't get over it. I'm, I'm excited. I'm stoked. I mean, look at that beautiful thing. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.